Hey, welcome back to M Hood Fishing. As soon as I got down here, it started to rain, but it's clearing up now. But we're probably gonna see some showers throughout this session. It's not great, it's not bad, it is what it is. There are changing conditions out there. The water's probably gonna be a little dirty, but we're gonna do it anyway. So let's get at it. All right, let's do a white bass catch and cook under these horrible conditions. Could be worse, you know. It is just up on six o'clock right now. So we don't have a lot of time to fish, but that's okay. This slight overcast should make the white bass come in a little sooner than later before the sun sets. This is a boat ramp, if you were wondering. And on this side of the boat ramp is an eddy. Yesterday, in a catfish video, I caught bait right in here. There was a lot of bait. And I've been seeing this bait over the last few days. So it's probably still there. Cut a nice flathead back off in there, closer to the bridge. Woo, somebody got hit by pessimism. Not good, not good. You broke your rod, bro. I had to throw that away later, but until then, I'll we'll just set that right there. Because the water right here is dirty, we're gonna go with this chartreuse square bill. When you're up top on the hill right now and you're looking down, you'll see that the whole river isn't dirty. Parts of it are. There, there's dirty water coming in and out. It's not all dirty. Part of the reason why it's dirty right here is this. This is rainwater draining from up top from the town coming down to right here. My plan is to wade fish this. I'm only going to wade out so far. I don't know where all the drop-offs are. Found a slight one. What we want to do here is estimate where a possible break line is or, you know, the drop-off and fish over it. Also, first thing I want to do is I want to put this right out in front of me. You see it floats when it's not moving. I want to see what it does. I want to see which way the current takes it. It's not taking it anywhere. So I'm going to put it out further when you're when you get into an eddy the current's not always going to go with the river usually in an eddy the current does this in most cases and i don't want to fish against the current i want to fish with it i think the eddy's doing this in this case today i'm going to use this as a search bait along the sides of the bank here that's why I want to wade out so I can fish different depths parallel to the bank drain number two looks like someone's bath water coming out this is the second eddy that I was gonna come try and fish but it's just like the first one it's got a drain water's dirty it's all dirty along here but we can go a little further and then we'll just work our way back and see if the fishing has gotten good at the other spots. Oh, yes. Ah, yes. Oh, yes right in front of me awesome it's a nice looking one too that's gonna taste good so i had to knuckle down and just wait the sun is almost gone in louisiana we went to a, a totally chartreuse little crankbait little tiny thing that cut through that dirty water and we had to go <clears throat> whoa I went all over the place checking out spots and in the end I came back to this boat ramp. That is a nice white bass. There's probably bigger out there. Let's see if we can get some more for this catch and cook though. We're probably just gonna eat the one. All right, nice, nice. Time to change the bait. Not getting any joy anymore. Just one hit on that chartreuse bait. Let's see, let's try this. This is a small rattle trap. It's by Rapala. It's got a 
a lot of sound, a lot of vibration, and some flash. I'm gonna fish this out for a while. It's gonna get really dark here soon, but as you can see, this area is lit. The tourists are showing up. There's a lot in town. It's uh, the holiday weekend, and there's people from Florida here because of the hurricane. What do we got? Well, I didn't think number two was going to happen. He's got some shoulders to him. What do we got here? Oh! Wow, this... What happened here? Holy moly! That is awesome! Did I foul hook you, brother? Look at that. Bonus fish. Number two is a bonus fish. I mean, it felt like he, he went for it. Yeah, corner of the mouth. Corner of the mouth, but the back end of the bait fouled him. Well, that hook wasn't even in you. Wow. I thought I was going to have to travel all the way to Japan to have some awesome action with catfish on lures, which I probably will at some point travel to Japan and target catfish with top waters because you can do that there you can do that in hong kong too they got a species of catfish that loves to ambush top waters nice flathead nice tiny flathead not as big as the one as i got last night but nice bonus fish this is not a whoa there you go not a flathead catching cook tonight not that size anyway. Go get big, right? Is it Grand Central Station or more like Walmart? Take your pick. Either one could be correct right now. It's time to go. I'd say good results for the bad conditions I was given. It goes to show if you put your mind to it and you, you read it, you can at least get one. It may be a surprise. House. I bled this fish right after I caught it. So you hear sometimes people complain that white bass is fishy, gamey, or has bloody meat. I think bleeding them is the way to go. All right, let's get a fillet and look at it. Not a bad looking fillet. All right, let's take it off the skin. Nice, this is what people complain about. They don't like that. I think it could have been worse. If I hadn't have bled this, there would have been more of this, but I don't mind that. Some of you already know that. That doesn't bother me. I think that's flavor right there. That's a lot of flavor. <laughs> a lot of you don't agree though, but I don't. that doesn't spook me. I have just a little bit of canola oil in the pan on a medium heat right now. I'm gonna do this really simple. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt right now, just a little bit of kosher salt. 
a little bit of black pepper. Turn it over. Ah. All right. It's not gonna take that long to cook. I'm gonna cover it for a second. All right, now I just wanna put a little bit of oil, I mean, I'm sorry, soy sauce in with the oil. Let that kind of burn off. I'm gonna glaze the fish with a little more soy sauce. That's why I didn't put a lot of kosher salt in there because I wanted to put soy sauce in here. I don't want this to stick, so I gotta watch what I'm doing. frozen spinach. Just to the side there. Now I'm gonna cover it. Turn that heat down. And let it sit for a second. Now I wanna pull this fish out. It's probably done but I need to finish the spinach off. The spinach is not done. Now for my finishing touch. I'm gonna to garnish it with furikake. This is gonna make it taste like, like nori roll. It's seaweed and sesame seeds. There we go. I'm so ready to get into this. Here, you wanna see a closer look of it? I am super tired right now, but ready to eat. I actually like white bass a lot. I don't find it to be fishy, gamey, or any, anything like that. Mm. It goes really well with just about anything. The soy sauce and the uh, furikake really go well with this white bass. It's, you have that sweet sweetness of the soy sauce, and then you're reminded of like eating a nori roll if you ever eat sushi. I love nori. Mmm. Wow. I'm not going to sit here and eat the whole thing in front of you, but I want to. Believe me, I'm really hungry and this is really good. So, like, share, comment, all that wonderful stuff. If you haven't already, subscribe. Check out the links down below. Go buy yourself an M Hood Fishing t-shirt right now. I would love you for it. Well, I love you just the same whether you do or not. Alright. See you next time.